What is going on guys? Mr. The Reverts here and today we are going to be taking a look at the healing options in Blackout Battle Royale for Call of Duty Black Ops 4. It's a little bit different compared to most Battle Royale games so let's go ahead and jump into this. Now guys, to start off in game, as soon as you enter the drop zone, you're going to begin with 150 base health. And if this is going to be your first time playing a battle royale game, it's very detrimental that you find a health pack because if you don't, then you're going to be at a big, big disadvantage because in blackout, you don't regenerate health like you do in regular multiplayer or there is no needle you can inject yourself with and gain extra health at any given time. So again, you have to scavenge, you have to find health in the game. There's also going to be a total of three different healing items and that's going to replenish your health bar. And then there's also armor you can scavenge and that's going to act like an extra set of health you can add on. Plus there is one perk that's going to give you health but again all perks are only going to last for a limited time. The name of that healing perk is called Stimulate and basically when you find this perk you activate it and you're going to instantly get 100 plus health added onto the total health you have. So say if you got shot by another team you manage to kill one of their players and then you have 20 health and then you activate that health perk then you're going to have 120 health total so that's how it's going to kind of work. Next up for the armor there has hasn't been any names listed yet however we do know that you can only carry and equip one piece of armor at a time and each piece of armor is going to give you extra protection it's not going to add on to your health per se it's just going to add on to your bullet protection I guess so uh, if I had to make a, a wise hunch I'd say that the armor choices are going to be light medium and heavy which are the three different types of armor that you can buy in the new game mode high so the armor mechanics kind of seem to line up with the description we got from Treyarch and yeah that's my guess but again this isn't confirmed or anything but I'd say that's a pretty safe bet now for the health items we can pick up there's a total of three different health packs and the first one is called first aid this restores a small amount of health very quickly and this is the most common and you can stack five of them at one time in your one inventory slot the med kit is the second option and this restores a bit more health but it does so a bit more slowly next up for the final kit we have trauma kit and this restores the most health out of any of the other two kits but it also provides you with 50 plus health beyond the max however you cannot stack trauma kits and each one you come across is going to require a slot in your inventory so to each their own health packs kind of have different positive and negatives there really isn't one per se that's the best option but the trauma kit like i said does give you the most amount of health however you cannot stack it and if you do happen to come across two med kits again they are going to take up two two different slots in your inventory so you kind of have to work around that you know maybe if you're playing with squads you can say hey one of my teammates can you hold on to one of the uh, trauma kits or I can hold on to two of them and you can maybe free up one of your slots I don't know there's a lot of strategy that can go into this and deciding what type of health you can pick up and use or armor etc so uh, it's very interesting to see how this is all going to play out guys I really love the way the healing is set up in this game however the 150 base health has me thinking okay does that seem like an adequate number because based off the reveal trailer we got a couple days ago the time to kill seems so fast for a battle royale game but I don't think it's going to be that big of an issue if everyone is using armor however with that being said armor is going to be a very hot commodity and for someone who first lands on the map and happens to you know find a good weapon plus armor I can already tell that other player who is going against that same guy is going to have a pretty big disadvantage because if they just found like a decent weapon with no armor then yeah like I said they're going to be put at a very big disadvantage so armor is going to be very important to have and that's going to be something you want to keep in mind too like okay should I drop this really rare and good gun and use this mediocre gun instead and carry shields or should I drop this piece of equipment that can help me out possibly in another situation for shields there's going to be a lot of decision making that goes into this a lot of strategy for sure but that that is what makes Battle Royale games so, so fun. Now guys, do you think the healing options in the game are exciting? Why or why not? Plus, do you think the 150 base health is a good enough uh, base pretty much? So tell me your thoughts about this down below in the comments, guys. Also drop a like on the video if you guys did enjoy. And uh, thank you for watching. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.